Coming up, we'll tell you what we know about the investigation into the vandalism of the downtown sculpture walk. And many people are celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week. We'll take you to the drive-by celebration for a Harrisburg elementary teacher. Good morning, this is Kendall Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Officers with the Sioux Falls Police Department were kept pretty busy last night. They were called to the area of 15th Street and South Gordon Avenue around 7.30 yesterday evening. To what investigating officers say was a, quote, family crisis incident. Our news crew was on the scene and captured this video. As you can see, officers had the street blocked off and armed officers approached the home when asked about public safety officers, said there was no current threat. Everybody's accounted for now and it's, uh, there's uh, no concern for the public safety at this time at all. We hope to learn more on the incident at a police briefing you can see online right here at Kelloland.com starting at 1030 a.m. Sioux Falls police need your help to identify this person of interest in connection with two sculpture vandalisms downtown. Police say someone caused $16,000 worth of damage to the sculpture called Protection. The other sculpture called A Day in the Park was also vandalized. However, authorities aren't sure how much it will cost to fix. Anyone with information on the crimes is asked to call police. After more than a year, the National Transportation Safety Board has released its final report on a small plane crash in McCook County that killed the pilot. The NTSB says 69-year-old Comet Haroldson had a heart attack. The report shows he desperately circled the plane in the sky in the minutes before the crash and told air traffic controllers he was trying to go down somewhere remote where no one would be hurt. The final report shows that Haroldson had worked on completing his medical certificate and had gotten his doctor's approval to fly. The FAA says it had no records of receiving it. You can read the report on Kelloland.com. Turning to weather now, rain moved through Kelloland to start the week, bringing some cooler temperatures with it. Let's find out how cool it could get with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Well, I think we've got a long ways to go in our colder weather cycle, and more on that here in just a little bit. First thing today, though, at least some sun is going to present an opportunity to get in the 60s. I know it's going to be technically below normal for this time of the year, but we'll take it. And the more sun, the better. I think Sioux Falls area, partly sunny. Aberdeen might even get a sprinkle or a light shower yet this afternoon. But Pier and Rapid City will do very well. Now tonight, showers increasing in the west. You can see that on Futurecast. And those do have a tendency to move east into central Kettle Land overnight and into early tomorrow. We'll keep that going. In fact, Sioux Falls will pick up shower chances in the afternoon and likely continue tomorrow evening. So that'll be our next uh, point of uh, interest there. And then it cools down Friday morning as we clear out, and we'll be talking about that coming up. Highs today, 63 Mitchell, 64 Chamberlain. More on your weather coming up. Thanks, Brian. South Dakota's health department confirms three more people have died of COVID-19. That means there have now been at least 24 deaths statewide. Health officials also confirmed out of 296 tests, there are 53 new positive cases, bringing the state's total to more than 2,700. However, 65 more patients recovered, bringing that total to nearly 1,900. We will soon know just how many Smithfield Foods workers and their families are still dealing with COVID-19. Yesterday was day two of testing outside Washington High School. The tests are free for Smithfield employees and their families. Governor Christy Nome says healthcare workers tested nearly 1,500 people in the Sioux Falls parking lot on Monday. She says about 10% of the people had symptoms. We are still waiting to find out the results. The state says it will take 48 hours. Testing will continue at Washington all week. Celebrations might look different these days, but the sentiment behind them doesn't have to change at all. Tom Weber of Sioux Falls celebrated his 99th birthday yesterday. His family sang to him at Dow Rummel Village. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy Weber served in the Navy in World War II, and a big happy birthday to Tom. A Harrisburg principal got a surprise outside of her house yesterday. Teachers and administrators drove in a parade past her, past the Horizon Elementary principal Lisa Garrett's house yesterday. It was a way to honor her for receiving the South Dakota Rookie Elementary Principal of the Year Award. She's just been um, a huge rock for us, and it's, it's an honor to do this for her. It's much deserved. Garrett had already planned on treating her staff that day with a free meal pickup at her house, but she was surprised by the parade. Brian? 
All right, very good. Forecast today and tomorrow and beyond. It is cooler. In fact, the trends right now will stay below normal now for quite a while. And in fact, it looks like early next week may be the most intense part of that cooler cycle of weather. So remaining in that uh, trend here for quite some time. And I'm thinking right now the forecast that, uh, yeah, we're likely going to at least have to deal with this until the middle of next week. Some of these temperatures are going to be closer to 20 degrees below normal by early next week. So just kind of keep that in mind because it's obviously going to be a tough battle when it comes to frost and freeze chances with that type of forecast. Now, in the forecast for today, 60 Sioux Falls, but then tomorrow we cut highs to 58 due to the clouds and the shower chances. Some sun on Friday and then cooler weekend, likely. In fact, by Sunday, high 53. Some showers could be around off and on. And then I would really watch Monday morning or Tuesday. That's when the, the real installment and the real true test of the cold will come on into the forecast. Aberdeen will be chilly uh, before that. And then, of course, by Monday, highs near 50, lows in the 20s. We're thinking Pier also will struggle through the 50s early next week. And there will be some chances of moisture this weekend. Uh, one thing about Pier and even Rapid City, not just rain chances, but there might even be a little snow in the Black Hills. So we'll continue to watch that. Guys? Brian, and thanks for joining us for Kelo Land on the Go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelo Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on KelloLand.com. Now go have a great day.